the scenario for this episode is i have two components one is the parent component and the other one is a child component and in the parent component i have an attribute the name of the attribute is message and the default value is this and i'm also trying to display the static text along with the value of this attribute which is message now i'm also trying to push the content of the attribute message into the child component if you notice it child component is this child component has got an attribute called message into this attribute called message we are trying to push the content of message here now we all know that aura components can be mutated bidirectionally and what i mean by that is in this case data is being pushed from parent to child and whenever we try to make some changes to the data that is being received here in the child component the same thing gets reflected in the parent component as well let me show you what i mean let me go back to the app and in the app i have the parent component and within the parent component i have the child component let me go back to the app and then i'm going to click on preview if you notice it this is coming from the parent component and this is coming from the child component and the default value for the attribute is krishna teja that is what is being displayed here the same value is being pushed to the child component and the same value is getting displayed here now on click of the button the business logic is i'm trying to change the data of the attribute called message in the child component what i mean by that is in the child component on click of the button i'm trying to change the content of the attribute message which is nothing but this now what happens is when the data changes here the same thing gets reflected in the other components as well hence i made the statement which is aura components can be mutated bidirectionally so when i click on this button this gets reflected and also this gets reflected now i don't want this behavior i don't want the attributes to be in sync rather when user clicks on the button the changes that are being made to the attribute should stay within this component and it should not be pushed or it should not be spread into the other components how is that possible and the answer is we can make use of a notation which is curly brace pound or hash symbol and then closing curly brace so the requirement is once when user clicks on the button we want the changes to just stay in that component and we don't want the changes to be pushed into the other components in that case i'm going to remove this i'll replace it with pound or hash symbol and we don't want changes in the parent component we want the changes to stay within the child component so in the parent component i'm going to replace this with pound symbol and i'm not going to make any changes to the child component now with this what happens is on click of the button we are trying to make some changes to the attribute and the changes will stay here and here we are not syncing it which means this is still going to show us the previous value now let me go back to the app i'm going to click on preview when the app loads it is going to show us some static text along with the default value and when i click on the button it is going to make sure that this value changes and this value is not pushed into the other components because we kind of remove the syncing between them and the notation is curly brace pound or hash symbol and then closing curly brace that's all for this episode and i'll call it a day